got ignored totally. So I do feel like a simp right now. <laughs> anyway, coming back to this, we do have Alexis Krem going against uh, Tirits, and um, of course, uh, it does look like they went through the ban phase. It looks like Maya, Arabia, Vietnam, Russia, Spain, <laughs> Poland, Rome, Scythia, Gorgo, Byzantium, Kupin, Khmer got taken out in the big fan, big ban phase. Of course, Alexis Krem is gonna go for Shaka. Shaka! And it's not gonna be Ambiorix Articuzi. No! Chandra Gupta takes the place, takes the throne. And we're gonna have him with the virus coming out to fight. Of course, uh, loading. Please wait screen. We are just a few moments uh, in, uh, to go into the game here, and I think you're right. I think you're right. He actually misclicked. I think you're correct, sir. He actually misclicked. Uh, anyway. Um, let's take a look over here. By the way, Star Spanky, um, dacă știi mai multe detalii despre o doamne, te rog, uh, feel at home să-mi spui și mie să share pentru că nu știu nimic. Uh, I was uh, talking with uh, Star Spanky, asking him if he does know more details about uh, that guy. O doamne, please share so I get to uh, actually, you know, be informed about it. Don't be shy, just give me all of the details, you know. Um, Let's see, Shadra Gupta very oppressive in a 1v1 setup. Yes, of course, we're not gonna have uh, surprises. Not that big surprise, you know. We got, uh, uh, you know what? Boys, boys, what do you think? What do you think? Should I actually put right now the prediction? Let's see. If anybody right now who says yes, I'm gonna put the prediction. If you say no, I'm not gonna put the prediction. We can actually have it for 30 minutes ongoing. But I mean, if you put your points, man, I mean, you know, it's gonna happen. So, but you have to take into account. You're probably gonna think more on uh, how the power struggle is gonna be between the sieves than anything else. Okay, so let's put up that uh, prediction over here. Let's see what's uh, going on. Uh, where is it? Uh, prediction, manage prediction, start prediction. Who will win? And we do have possible outcomes. Uh, Tirits on Chandra Gupta. And on the other side, Alexis Kremp is playing Shaka. Of course, uh, this time I'm going to leave it uh, going for 30 minutes. Be careful exactly how you're going to put your points there uh, because it's uh, going to be a problem. Um, we might see a few remaps here. Uh, Ryan's you know, also telling us uh, he's gonna lurk a bit. I'm just too tired for chat. I'm only watching for tonight. No problem, man. Thank you very much for joining, and I do hope uh, you're actually gonna enjoy the game. Um, mess up with Mike saying it's yes, yes, yes. Uh, Otavarovsky is telling us all in gamble all the points, and uh, also many Ayushi oblique. Uh, whoa, they starting so fast. Yes, indeed. Okay, turn five. Looks like uh, on the west side we got Zulu uh, with a wonder to the north. Lake Redma. He is on a coastal sp uh, spawn. Unfortunately, of course, uh, that will not give him the full fresh water that he would actually need. But he does have island. He does have horses. He does have uh, second cities over here to the southeast, and he is um, quite a few tiles away from India uh, with his um, I do have to say that with his um, whoa, we got a sub 200 over here thank you very much Articuzi for that tier 1 thank you we're to over 200 now yay um, the idea is um, uh, impis will be stronger than the Chandra Gupta's uh, unique unit on the Varu. We do need to see if they're actually gonna hit those timings. Well, uh, turn eight right now. We do have to quickly check out uh, Chandra Gupta's spawn. It does look like he's gonna have some bananas uh, for that extra food, some uh, free fish tiles over here to work for extra food, horses, and it does seem like. We do have him with uh, quite a few other cities to settle. One to the southeast, one to the northeast, uh, one to the south over here, and of course uh, one on the coast. Uh, his uh, coast settles, by the way, will be protected. You do see that uh, Zulu is not going to get to them anytime soon, and I don't really believe actually Zulu is going to be on a war mood here. Uh, we're turn eight. They have a few seconds to go. Alexis puts the, the pause, and let's see it. We got Alexis uh, choosing something. Tirith chose something. This is going to be the map. 30 minutes, boys, 30 minutes. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We have a choice from the players to uh, get more points. Of course, if you do correctly predict uh, the outcome of this game, you can put your points into Shaka on the west side here, Alexis Kremp, or on Tirits on the right side, who is uh, playing today, Chandra Gupta. Let's see who's actually going to be the winner between these uh, two uh, amazing players. This is... Uh, 
the second place and the third place fighting against each other and of course um, if, if you take a look over here we do have a few city states on the map as well Kumasi with uh, Kabul with uh, Geneva coming out a wonder also on uh, Chandra Gupta on his back line he does have the chocolate hills over here uh, are, they are gonna be a bit further away than he would probably enjoy but anyway I mean it's still a good wonder you might want to sell it at some point you can imagine settling on cotton getting the chocolate hills to give him the money Money. oh my god that is something wait did i misspell what did i misspell uh kumer over ambiotics any day oh my god kumer versus ambiotics oh my god bro don't i think you actually started a world war in my chat right now i'm not sure how arti guzi will uh, respond to that but i feel like it will be a. Uh... oh man <laughs> oh man uh, anyway uh, taking a, a look over here, Soti Capybara actually asked me to talk 30 seconds in Romanian, so I'm gonna do it really quickly, uh, so uh, we get over it, 30 seconds in Romanian, let's go! Pe partea stânga hărții avem uh, India, uh, care în momentul de față se uită la orașele... Uh, uh, lui Shaka, vede cum orașul Lundi se duce, oh, a pus um, un holy site în primă fază, un uh, loc, un lăcaș de cult, de fapt, uh, și vedem cum uh, Uh, al doilea uh, oraș o să fie uh, pregătit în partea de nord a Z lui Zulu. Uh, uh, în același timp, Tiriț uh, în orașul lui își pregătește un, uh, uh, well, un al doilea oraș undeva în partea de vest, dar uh, din nefericire este marcat de acest uh, uh, Cercetaș. Uh, what that? Uh, oh my god, okay. I'm sorry, I have to come back to English because, you know, this is the moment I actually need to talk a lot uh, faster and I need to talk about all of these uh, nice and juicy details because, oh my god, it's happening. Nostalgia 07, hello there and welcome, sir. Um, let's see, Movemba is uh, but a god and Abir is the puppeteer. Movemba is a god. Oh, oh, he can make him dance. Can make him dance, like do the dance, do the dance. Is this the dance or is this another dance? <laughs> Uh, I do have to say, by the way, on uh, Tiritz's side, he was about to actually be snatched here. Uh, Alexis uh, did have a scout uh, in the forest and uh, Tiritz uh, did not actually get to see him. He moved around on that uh, citrus style and of course uh, you can see um, uh, India will get to uh, uh, move his scout right now with uh, the settler. Uh, I do have to also point out that uh, Chandra Kupta does get an extra movement point on his uh, military units uh, and of course that includes the scouts while uh, the settlers only get two movement speeds so it will take him a while to actually get uh, to his uh, settled location maybe probably would settle in place here um, uh, I do also notice we got Tirits with uh, initiation rights. This is his second time tonight he's going for initiation rights. And while he is probably going to be on a war path, I do believe this is going to be quite a uh, hard struggle for him. Something that uh, we weren't expecting on the west side over here, we do have a Zulu with um, a holy side being placed down. This is, I think, the first time, and I'm not even, no, this is actually the second time I actually see a Zulu with a holy side. Zulu with a holy site? Are you for real? I mean, I, I, I get it how it's gonna work, but really? Uh, next next up, you know, he's gonna pick something like Sacred Path. Come, come on, me, you know, put your hands up who thinks Zulu will actually uh, pick Sacred Path. You know, like he's between like three, four uh, rainforests and one forest and two forests, I mean. Come on, like... Really, bro? That's gonna be quite an interesting strategy over here developed by the big man himself Alexis of course he wants that uh, faith generation for the second era he wants to uh, get a religion so he can actually uh, do a religion against India he probably thinks it is going to be India that's also going to get a religion it looks like at the moment Tirith is not planning on one at least we do not see uh, him putting down Stonehenge or going for the holy site uh, I think I also missed something earlier, but I do have to uh, point them out uh, right now. Uh, Bolu Beer, uh, Balu Beer actually, and uh, Big Dog uh, followed me earlier. Thank you very much, guys, for uh, following me. And of course, I do hope you're going to enjoy the show. Uh, we were talking with uh, the players over there and I couldn't uh, uh, talk over them. But thank you. Thank you very much for uh, showing up on the stream tonight. Um, Yes, that is a one adjacency holy site. Yes, that is a one adjacency holy site because he only gets the adjacency from the two forests and that's a one, right? 
Uh, also, let's uh, take a look over here. Bulawayo uh, does look like uh, he did settle on it on uh, Lake Redba. He's going to have a 2-2 two -two base with a 1-3-1 one -one possible ivory tile to work at the beginning. And of course, all of these uh, Lake Redba tiles. If he does um, mix them up, it would be quite good. Of course, with a little less food than usual, but it's fine. Lake Redba does uh, give him um, that extra culture, extra gold. And of course, you do see his uh, second holy site will actually be a plus 5 with a possible plus uh, eight actually over there uh, because he does get the extra two adjacency per tile of one next to the holy site uh, we do have him uh, with uh, another setter coming up in uh, four turns from Ulundi. Uh, he did finish his uh, holy side right now. He, and he started gathering his uh, great profit points. I'm pretty sure he's not going to get the religion before he's actually going to finish that second holy side over there. Uh, we do have uh, the war declaration between them. And I do see India uh, trying to take out one of Zulu's scouts. While, of course, uh, Zulu did put it in a forest. We'll probably move away. Oh, he's going to get shot. He's gonna get shot. Look at this slinger is just waiting over here, you know, training his arm. You can see him, you know, he's, you know how like you see those uh, baseball players or the basketball players training their arms. That's exactly the slinger right now, you know, he's doing exercises in the city and he, he wants to uh, uh, take out the scout over here. It's just a few seconds away. Tirits might actually uh, shoot him last second, you know, like shoot him and then in turn so he doesn't actually get to get out of there. Oh man, oh man. Man, you cannot outrun them. Look at that. Uh, wait, what are you talking about over there? Movembas. Oh, you're talking about the Movembas. Can you imagine if we actually have a Shaka religious victory? That, that would be so amazing. Anyway, we do have Tirids finally putting down a Stonehenge over here next to the city of Panda. It looks like he is going to put down a second holy site over here. And his slinger is not moving. He's moving. Last second. Bam! On that scout. Look at that. Oh my god. Tirids, I told you, man. I told you. He was preparing he did what it's all in the wrist as they like to say you know it's all in the wrist actually i was watching a tron over <laughs> a few days ago and uh, that's one of the um, uh, advices he said uh, to uh, the girl cora i believe it's uh, her name uh, in the last fight when uh, she was flying the airplane yeah you can do it i never flew before you can do it it's all in the wrist yeah yeah <laughs> you know it's fine. Now we do have uh, India over here, getting that uh, second settler to the west of Pana. Does look like a force. Uh, we do have a warrior uh, uh, on that uh, settler location. I'm pretty sure he's actually gonna go there. Why not? And uh, of course he's gonna need to wait for his uh, Stonehenge to finish to get a religion. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna also wanna wait for his Sony side. Uh, does look like uh, at the moment uh, they will also need to actually race for the. Um, um, for the golden age and that's one of the things that we didn't actually get to see last time the um, the game was so fast that we didn't actually get to see them um, uh, race for any kind of timing uh, trying to uh, get their empire as big as possible so they could um, uh, overwhelm their opponents in a decent amount of time uh, also look at that Arctic Uzi is sharing some very intimate knowledge about Ambiorix here he doesn't need a golden age Man, he's just so powerful, doesn't need the Golden Age. Now, also, Taro Vasi is telling us that Gran Colombia without uh, BBG is uh, very, very broken. It's a cheat code. Wow. Well, I mean, I, I kind of tend to agree. Those Laneros are like basically tanks. <laughs> uh, turn, uh, you know, tanks turn 60. That, that's just not how it's supposed to be. Um, okay, so let's see what's going on over here. Uh, does look like Alexis is actually going to go for the north uh, settle. Uh, he's going to try to connect his initial settles. Not really going to care about this one to the southeast, even though he, done, he did have um, a geothermal to work with over there. Uh, taking a look at both of their strategics um, uh, available, we do have iron next to uh, Ulundi. Uh, horse tile is three tiles away. I do not know if there's a horse tile over here, but I don't think so. And oh, we got an answer. Sacred path coming up for Ulundi. Of course, uh, he's gonna get um, that um, extra adjacency towards his um, uh, holy sites. You can see the plus 7 started up over here and we got another plus, what, 8? Yeah, plus 8 over here uh, in Bulawayo. He does have another one that could be uh, developed and uh, that's a big question actually. Did he go animal husbandry? 
I do not know, honestly. Let's see. Tech side. Oh, he's gonna discover it next turn. Oh, well. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. He can put it over here. Anyway, now uh, we, we do notice um, that India is also pushing and look how beautiful this is. He's pushing his opponent in a line. Uh, so he uh, uh, gets all of this land to the east side safe. Uh, while, of course, uh, Zulu's uh, warrior is going to be forced out of there. We do have uh, India with um, one extra movement over his opponent. So he is able to actually run down the Z uh, Zulu warrior. And that's exactly what's happening over here. Uh, we do have uh, Zulu running for his life. But he cannot outrun the warriors of Chandra Gupta. I'm pretty sure that warrior is probably going to be doomed. doomed. Uh, we got another holy site started up over here next to Calcutta. It looks like uh, Tiritz is realizing the danger he is in and he is going to try to... Um, um defend against a possible religious victory especially with uh, Stonehenge coming up from Pana, Delhi going for uh, three turns for the holy side we got Calcutta over here with another uh, holy side but that's not actually going to be prioritized the monument is going to be prioritized and uh, well I'm not so sure that's going to be a good thing but we'll see the uh, era score is going to be the one I think that's going to make such an important part of this game. In a 1v1 setup, you don't always get um, enough... Um how to say, um, enough uh, error score to go for your golden ages, so you do have to be caref as careful as possible to actually uh, generate that error score from anything that you can get your hands on, like uh, wonder, uh, like wonder setters, like uh, unique units, like unique improvements, like um, uh, religion over here, a boat, and so on and so forth, but you have to time them as um, good as possible so you can actually uh, get that uh, out uh, of your empire. Uh oh you can see Tirith is watching angrily watching this uh, Zulu warrior over here wants to slap it but he can't he has another slinger to the south of course uh, to the east actually and he can um, get a promotion on it or he can uh, uh, shoot at the warrior he doesn't like Tirith at the moment is a bit uh, um, how to say confused about this he needs to um, take out the warrior not allow Alexis to actually get out of that situation we do have a 14 error score for uh, Tirith out of 19. We got Alexis on 13 out of 19 as well. And uh, I do notice uh, we do have a few more turns until uh, six more, uh, seven more turns until we actually get the new era. Uh, give me a second here. Uh, Arti Guzzi is also telling me in the chat here gains one uh, trader capacity for each era including the ancient oh you're talking about Portugal yeah that is that is amazing by the way but I do have to point out um, in the um, uh, vanilla gameplay without BBG there are a lot of very good civilizations a lot of very good ones uh, including Germany but not limited to uh, wink wink salty capybara German power over there with the extra um, district that you get from the beginning uh, you uh, do get like a really bad and awkward Khmer by the way I don't think Khmer is that good uh, in the vanilla uh, gameplay um, neither is Tamar that amazing but it can be good But, oh my god okay let's uh, let's see what's uh, going on over here we do have uh, a holy side project projects coming up from uh, zulu uh, looks like um, uh, he's gonna get another slinger from bulawayo and uh, by the looks of it he is uh, gonna get um, uh, that sec uh, third city while we do have already three cities for some time we have three cities uh, coming up from india uh, in the era score screen here it does seem like uh, zulu did manage to get 16 out of 19 and did settle that uh, third one uh, he is uh, gonna get a tax 
back though three of the warriors of um, uh, Chandra Gupta are going against uh, Nobamba this time it's a totally different uh, way Eli is calling me out let's see let's see oh I started um, a challenge over here Eli is telling me Khmer Vanilla is insane <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that actually makes me want to play it but the eli and thank you welcome sir also congratulations for the win on uh sunday understand it was an amazing game uh player uh x uh, uh, the only ones that could be argued with uh, are the new frontier pass ones more like uh, because of work ethic uh, will you ever play him um uh, oh, ambiotics oh my god ambiotics is amazing i have to say it uh, we do have uh, Alexis in a bit of a pickle over here and just like last time Tiritz is gonna try to take out one of the cities of his opponents looks like he's uh, gonna go for Nobamba this time while Nobamba is trying to train one of those slingers as soon as possible uh, take a look at the yields tab over here we do have um, Alexis on six gold a 10 16 faith uh, he does have uh, nine only nine gold in the bank doesn't actually have his uh, necessary gold for um, oh my god last have you seen that move have you seen that move from Alexis last second putting down an Ikanda and boom build it in the next second of course um, in the next turn we did have a uh, Tirits over there uh, unfortunately uh, not realizing what's uh, gonna happen and as you can see over here um, it does seem like he's gonna try to go against the Nobamba this time Nobamba has a warrior those muscles are against the wall they are of course uh, keeping out uh, all of the units uh, away from the city and even if that city is in a uh, uh, under siege mode you can see it's not taking a lot, a lot of damage you know, over there from those uh, units of Chandra Gupta uh, we might actually see one of the warriors taken out but unfortunately i don't think that actually would be that good of an idea especially because of the you know, how to say well depends on how you attack if you attack with the warrior first and kill it with a slinger maybe but if you attack with the slinger and kill it with the warrior ah you leave the city on a 10 strength and uh, we've seen what happened last time with 10 strength cities man they are so weak um, you can pick uh, Grand Colombia or Germany and spam pill builds. Uh, you'll have so much fun. Germany doesn't get close. And Murex, oh my, oh my. That's a lot of, uh, how to say, uh, okay, okay. Big opinions over here about the vanilla gameplay. Big opinions. We, we, I love to see that. I love to see that. Of course, uh, we do have um, Tiritz coming up with um, uh, his army next to Nobamba. He did manage to slap it once with one of his warriors. And he's waiting to see what's uh, going to happen with the warrior on the west side. You see this warrior actually has 12 out of 15 experience points. I think he should be around uh, one uh, or two shots away from getting... Um, promotion is it if uh, he is being hit by twice and of course he doesn't um, die it will 100 percent get the promotion and that will be dangerous uh, we could actually see alexis bite his uh, bite his time and of course um, uh, wait for this uh, archer to come out of ulundi wait for another archer to come out from bulawayo and deal the damage on uh, the indian units one other thing that i also want to point out we're three turns away from the golden age we do need to see what happens over here looks like alexis is gonna get his golden age a hundred percent he's on 20 out of 19 points uh he's now uh one turn away from uh, getting his great profit simon peter and i do see him uh, putting some uh, more of these arches in production okay so he's gonna pref prefer to defend himself and uh, of course uh, push out the indian units than anything else one turn away Stonehenge to finish in the city of Panda. Of course, uh, that is uh, uh, exactly when he needs it. And you can actually see, oh my God, oh my God, that city. Oh, oh, oh my, oh my, oh my God, bro. That's so close to dying. That is so close to dying. Alexis, what are you going to do here, bro? Because, I mean, if that city is not actually going to get uh, a heal, it might die next time. Let's see. Uh, Slinger uh, taking... Uh, look at that. Look at that tiny bit of health. And this uh, uh, scout as well, a tiny bit of health. And then the warrior smacks it and takes the last uh, half. Oh, man. That is... That is... That is awkward that is awkward i have to say anyway we do have uh, tirits arriving at 19 out of 19 points he just went over the threshold got a religion actually just got 22 out of 19 because of the religion went for a divine inspiration with the missionary zeal uh oh oh 
Oh my God. In, oh, I, I mean, really, bro? Missionary zeal? Is he gonna troll Zulu here? Is this gonna happen? I mean, this is, I have to say, this is fitting. So you, you've seen what happened over there, by the way. Yeah, yeah. So you see what this does. Missionary zeal, religious units ignore movement cost and terrain and feature and so on. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, that died and no Bamba got taken out. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, we got, we got Alexis saying he didn't unstack. Oh my God. No Bamba dying. this is oh um, this is this is the top level 1v1ers over here of course uh, going against each other uh, as you can see alexis is on the back foot uh, we do have um uh, Tirith going against him uh, sacrificing two of his warriors one of his scouts uh, to actually take the city of nobamba away from his opponent he will probably delete it and then he's gonna follow up with a uh, religious gameplay of course uh, if you take a look over here a second religion got picked it's gonna be zulu with a feed the world and defender of the faith uh, we do have oh my god oh my god this is this is amazing we do have a Tirith going for more settlers, uh, trying to get one of his traders out. I'm pretty sure next turn is the, yeah, there we go, the switch of the era. Siri got raised to the ground. Tirith is going to lose his uh, third warrior. And the four units sacrifice themselves to take a Siri away from Zulu. But that is massive. That is massive. Uh, taking a look at uh, also uh, the score screen here, we do have uh, Alexis with 147 faith in the bank. A lot more faith generated than uh, Tirith can generate. And actually, at this point, I'm thinking maybe India um, did go for the deny. He didn't want his opponent to actually have uh, missionary zeal. And of course, uh, with divine inspiration, he is going to get some um, uh, extra faith per turn from his wonders. So we'll see. I don't know, man. This is wild indeed. Uh, by, uh, by the way, big, big news. We just went over 4,300 followers. Whoa, 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 whoa. We did it. Crazy. Uh, what do we have? Uh, combining the amenities and housing pantheon with his holy sites across rivers bonus is insane. Oh, you're talking about Matthias Corvinus, indeed. Uh, and the Hansa is Germany helps him in the long line. If it's stacked, uh, Germany uh, words a stacked Khmer. I believe Germany wins. Yeah, I think Germany wins. Definitely Germany wins over there. Uh, way, way, way too much uh, production on it. I'm glad we can have a civilized government and not yell at each other. <laughs> yes, that is a good one. That is a good one indeed. Uh, taking a look at um, what's uh, going on over here. Um, I was, um, uh, I, I do see, of course, a builder coming out from uh, Wulundi. Did go for the iron tile. He's going to get um, uh, some uh, iron in his uh, territory. It looks like in uh, Bulawayo. Um, we do have a uh, settler coming out in four turns. And I'm pretty sure he's going to try to resettle that city. Uh, while he is starting to improve a few of his amenities. Definitely the ivory tiles will get him some gold. And at the same time, some uh, amenity over there. Some happiness in his uh, cities we do have a uh, Tirith with um, a horse coming out from Delhi uh, Varu coming out from Calcutta and of course he already has a horse actually um, helping his settler move on the west side here uh, he will probably go and settle on the right side so he gets a, a higher strength city sorry higher population not higher strength and also wait bro Bro, let's uh, stop with the bands over there. Let's stop the band talk and impersonating stuff. And anyway, that was a joke, by the way, from Professor Cuddles. I'm pretty sure it was a joke. Um, we do have um, Varu from uh, Calcutta. Let's go in Panda, getting that settler out. And of course, you do see that uh, Tirith is um, actually going to have much stronger units to go against Zulu. One of the things that Zulu does have a problem with is uh, his um, um, uh, building of units with enough strength to go against his opponent yes he does have a powerful timing on the mb but at the beginning of the game his whole meta building he can does build getting the buildings in them especially in this case he went for holy sites does slow him down considerably so we're gonna need to see what's uh, gonna happen 
Um, we, we do have um, Alexis with um, archers in a line. I do see he has a uh, four of them. By the, um, by the looks of it, he's gonna go for some spearmen as well. Probably gonna try to prevent uh, any kind of Varu attack and or uh, horseman attack. Actually, right now I'm actually curious. Is he actually gonna try to settle on the one two or uh, go one tile further on the rice? I'm pretty sure the rice is a much better settle, but I have to say it does kill this settle over here on the cattle tile so maybe he just wants to wait a little bit and get another settle on the cattle rather than um, spoil it with the one on the rice we do have a uh, panna getting another settle in uh, 110 of course he does have a very good uh, city over here to the southeast that he never scouted he doesn't know about this one can you imagine we're turned third oh he does Oh my god, he, he doesn't know about the uh, the egg easter egg. It's here, bro. It's here. Where is, wait a second. I, I have to do this. I, I did put something over here. I did put something uh, on my stream. You see this? This, you see? You see? This is the easter egg, bro. You gotta do it, bro. Look at this. You, look at how beautiful it is. You gotta get those eggs. They're so colorful. You gotta get them, bro. Anyway, uh, coming back on uh, this, uh, let me actually take a look at what's going on. Uh, we do have um, uh, more horses coming out of uh, the cities of India. Of course, he's getting his encampments. Remember, all of these uh, units are also getting their uh, extra um, uh, movement, uh, five um, movement in total. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. You guys, bro. <laughs> okay. Um, taking a look at um, Zulu also he's uh, getting more of this uh, faith going with um, extra uh, shrines coming out of his cities I do see he's gonna try to um, uh, get another city over here I'm not actually sure where it's going oh it's going next to the mountains there uh, maybe I'm gonna put it on the Kumasi warrior for a 2-2 two -two and of course a possible plus a 3 um, I do notice that this time he's going to be much, much uh, better prepared to actually take on India's army. Uh, even if India does have uh, extra strength uh, or I should say extra movement on those armies. And uh, he's going to get the general. He is 100% uh, going to defend himself with the spearmen. You can see these spearmen are um, 47 strength uh, with the plus 10 going against the calves units. And even the Varus will have a problem going against them. It's probably going to be a tied place over there. Only like three different, uh, three points difference. So, and it's all dependent on the support bonus uh, we don't actually have Zulu at the moment uh, working any kind of horses uh, but he is starting to gather quite a bit of this uh, iron in his uh, territory while of course Tiritz has the same problem uh, he was working horses but doesn't have the iron and you can see he's 100% um, uh, using that faith per 10 of 10 uh, to actually get uh, some more of these uh, builders instead of going for the missionaries it's it's not what I imagined. I would have loved to see the cheese coming out from uh, Tirits over here. But it looks like he went for the uh, simming ability of his um, nation. Uh, using that monumentality golden age to actually uh, get some more builders. Uh, this actually uh, puts me up with another question. We got the monumentality golden age on Chandra Gupta and a monumentality on Shaka. Um... Let's see, uh, Madix only, hello there, and uh, I heard, uh, wait, Sif Pro, hello and welcome to the channel, by the way, uh, go Big Gupta, yes, Curry Mac King, good evening and welcome. Um, what do we have here? How close is Zulu to Kors? Uh, that's actually not that close. Not that close. He's going to get them at mercenaries. And it's going to take a while to actually get there. In the meantime, uh, he's uh, barely getting his uh, fooling on the culture tree. Uh, both, I think, opened up with Moksha. And there we go. So he, they are uh, getting uh, faster on the culture tree. But it's not going to be as fast as we actually have uh, uh, seen earlier. Also, let's see. Uh, it was Thailand, Laos, and Cambodia. I don't know what you're talking about there. Uh, hi, hello there and hat tip mm, hello or is it like this how, how do you do the hat tip is it like this or is it like this uh, tip the hat you know like I don't know I don't know how to do it uh, I'm just using my knowledge from Age of Empires 2 oh yeah right 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 if you guys didn't notice I did put on my uh, is this uh, I pick second for me okay so it's this one right okay I got it 
I did put on my uh, small hat today, you know, it's small hat. Uh, we do have uh, India going towards the north. It looks like uh, he is going to try to um, uh, make a line of uh, units, uh, first of all, with the Varus. And I do like how he spread them out. Uh, these Varus do apply a minus five uh, penalty on damage against um, their opponents. And of course, um, it will be quite important to um, deal the damage against uh, Zulu's uh, army. Uh, he is also doing as best he can to snipe out units that are out of position from uh, Zulu uh, while not taking a lot of damage in return. We do have the first uh, source one coming out from Ondini. Uh, you can see also uh, Alexis uh, did upgrade his uh, horse style over here in Ondini and I'm pretty sure he's gonna put down Oh, he didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not that sure anymore. He got a campus. I, I was thinking he's gonna get another holy site. Looks like uh, looks like he is content with how much faith he's uh, generating, and of course, like uh, he, he's seen how many cities India has in the backline, and uh, he's definitely worried. Three, four cities versus um, five possible cities over here from India. Mm -mm -mm, that's gonna be a problem. We got Panna two turns away from getting in Cam on training project. Of course, India is generating two points a turn right now. Uh, doesn't actually have. Wait, why is he generating two points a turn? Because he doesn't have the card then. Or does he? Let me actually take a look here. Oh, he does have the card then. So, wait. Does that mean he just got the encampment? Because he should be on three great general points a turn. Anyway. We're going to need to see how uh, Zulu will also uh, want to play this out. I'm pretty sure he's going to also get one of those generals. Unfortunately for him, uh, the spearmen and the archers do not get the bonus from the generals. He's going to need the uh, swordsman. He's going to need horses. He's going to need uh, something stronger. Uh, you do see another archer will probably be taken out. Alexis is um, unfortunately uh, going to need to do some fast moves here. And it doesn't like uh, Tirits uh, was not fast on the buttons. Didn't click fast enough. And Alexis did survive with his um, archer. Another one is actually put in front over here. It will probably uh, die. And we do, need, uh, we do see more values coming up from the cities of uh, India. We do have the Varu right next to the Spearman, and you can actually take, check the damage, even if the Spearman doesn't have a lot of support bonus. It is a 40 versus 40 against the Spearman, and of course... Um, that puts them uh, into a tie. Uh, the Spearmen, though, cannot attack themselves into the Varu, but they can definitely withstand quite a few Varu attacks. And especially, um, you know, while we do have a lot of archers over here coming up for uh, Zulu, you can imagine he's going to try to get uh, all of the, of the advantages from them. We do have more archers in uh, training in Calcutta. More of these shrines are being put into uh, production from Delhi. And I do see more builders. In Chennai also, I have to say, we got a builder. Uh, he, we got Magnus establishing. And uh, I, by the looks of it, he's going to prepare himself to chop as many tiles as he possibly can for this city. So he can get probably a faster army, a bigger army to go against Zulu next. Uh, predicted that the Varu is OP. Wait. You, so you actually predicted that uh, Chandra Gupta will win, right? That's uh, that's how it works, right? Uh, let me actually take a look over here. What did you guys do? Man, we got some backdoor incursions over here from Tirits. Oh my god, big brain. There was a scout sniffing away in the south of uh, Ulundi. Did manage to uh, go, uh, as you can see over here, and uh, took out the unit, the um, archer that was very low HP on that iron tile. And now he is in a position to actually uh, pillage that iron tile away from uh, Zulu. That means uh, he's only gonna, uh, Zulu is gonna run out of uh, iron. And of course, he's gonna need to improve another one. It's this one over here. I'm pretty sure he's gonna, there we go. Uh, uh, Alexis did figure out what's going on and he, he will 100% gonna try to um, um, adapt around this. We do have another archer coming up from Ulundi. We've seen actually the first moves are on Alexis. He does have the host and uh, we also see that Tirits is not gonna go for that northern settle. He is gonna go for the southwest over here. Probably gonna try to push Zulu as back as he possibly can. We do have also Tirits on 16 science with 24 culture. Uh, now 9 out of 16 for uh, Alexis uh, Kremp. I do want to put up a quick poll over here because I'm not sure if I should share, uh, give my rant about something, but I do want to share something. Um, would you like to hear my rant on the energy 
company. Okay, so just a quick poll over here. I don't wanna, uh, I don't wanna check uh, uh, how to say your opinion. If you don't wanna hear a rant about um, you know, me with uh, well any, uh, I guess uh, an interaction between me and my the energy company I'm at uh, or I was at. Uh, so uh, because I just got today a very big news uh, from them, and of course I'm like. What? <laughs> but I do have to, uh, you know, get it out of me. Get it out of me. No, 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 no. It's a, uh, it's actually an Italian company, I think. Um, no, no. You, you're gonna find out if you, if you, uh, how to say, if you press yes, you're gonna find out. Um, okay, so we do have a line of units uh, coming up over here. I'm waiting uh, for the next one minute to finish that pull and pull, and then I'm gonna uh, talk about it. We do have uh, the two armies uh, getting close to each other on one side, on the right side. We got Shenai with um, the Varus and of course uh, a few horses. Uh, settlers also coming out. Uh, we got a, also a general on those Varus, which does mean they're gonna get an extra plus five. And now they will probably do um, an important amount of damage against the units of. Uh, Zulu. Now you do see that of course the spearmen are getting their uh, defense and of course on the hills and everything they are uh, powerful enough to withstand a few attacks especially three uh, but I oh, mean he needs a lot more and especially he needs um, stronger units he needs swordsmen he needs uh, horses of his own. Um, okay, we got a few more. Uh, hello there, Janus. Hello there. Uh, uh, hello, hello and welcome sir. Um, uh, Looks like uh, we did have uh, Tirith managing to actually pillage not only that iron tile but also two other tiles with his extra movement on the uh, horses. He did manage to uh, go around and as you can see over here, uh, immediately Alexis did repair his iron. He is aware he's going to need as much iron as he possibly can get. Uh, getting more spearmen in the meantime, I'm pretty sure he's also going to need uh, to get to his um, uh, impies as soon as possible. And uh, let me actually take a look at something because I forgot. Uh, what I, uh, let me see. They come at military tactics. So he will will need as soon as possible to get to a pigment technology that's what I I don't know why I forgot about that, about that but sure I wanted to make sure and we got a yes okay 20 people voted in the yes one okay so uh, about a year and a uh, half ago I took over from my uh, grandma the responsibility of uh, paying the bills for uh, the energy company in my house and so on and so forth. And uh, uh, before that, nobody was plugging in the index, you know, and uh, you have to actually take the index, you plug it in manually on the website or on the app and you get the result over there according to uh, what you plugged in the index. And we find we found out that they uh, actually overcharged us for quite some time. We had a regulation, uh, a regulatory, how do you call it, uh, um, um, invoice to uh, cut it down. It was quite an important sum over there. I don't know, a few hundred uh, euros or something. Anyway, um, we also switched uh, contracts from the uh, from uh, uh, the governor base ones to um, uh, the competitive ones. That's uh, the competitive market, which, uh, how to say, we uh, privatized the market or something like that and it's called the uh, competitive market but anyway so i did all of that on the 7th of uh, november uh, 7th of january last um year and of all of the i had all of the contracts everything everything signed and everything uh, back in uh, october somebody called me and told me that i actually don't have you know somebody from their company told me that i don't have the contracts uh, up um, on the website and uh, I wasn't paying the the special price that I had to pay. I, I, I was, you know, I was oblivious to this. I was paying whatever they were charging me, you know, like uh, I was okay. Uh, how do you say? Um, I think it's called uh, uh, faithful, uh, you know, uh, how to say, um, 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 a buyer. Uh, I, I thought in uh, good faith. Uh, that uh, everything was okay. Anyway, I, I started investigating it. I found out what's happened. I, I called their uh, uh, office. Nobody wanted to talk to me. I went to the office. I even got my grandma in full COVID, uh, put mask and everything, everything, uh, oh, and uh, went to the uh, market. I went to the um, uh, the company's uh, store, and I because I needed the representative. It's not on my name, and I needed the representative. And they. They said something like, um, um, you know what, uh, we can't deal with, like, I had the contract signed by their company and they were like, nope, 
nope. <laughs> I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. You know, like, really, bro? That's how you're going to you're gonna, um, uh, treat me? I mean, you know, the next step is if you're not going to answer to me, I'm going to call the regulatory office from the government and I'm going to tell them what happened over here. I mean, you're not going to get away with this. And... Um, <laughs> uh, they didn't want to do anything they didn't want to do anything and um, uh, I said okay you know what I understand it's fine I after a few emails I uh, stopped uh, uh, I stopped uh, working on this and I said okay I'm gonna change the company it's a competitive market I'm gonna change the company the energy bills uh, blah blah and I, I did so on uh, on those uh, con particular contracts and um, then I also in the same time contacted the government uh, I would say to tell them about what happened and I at first I can't really release all of the details about this but um, it did take us around four months to get to the answer that I told them back like six months ago <laughs> with uh, every every 10 days a batch of emails you know <laughs> And I was like, bro, like, really? I had to do, like, explain, like, you know, you know those moments when you actually have to explain to somebody like you, like he was five? Exactly like that. I was thinking maybe, maybe I, I actually need to do, like, a drawing so they would understand way, where they made a mess of things. Basically what happened, they um, refunded twice a few uh, a batch of uh, invoices but then they refunded one that actually had all of the uh, calculations for the difference in um, um, uh, how to say from the last years so for example uh, for uh, consumption of the last years which was in like it was uh, in my favor uh, as in i had a lot of uh, money that they were owing me and they all oh, they like totally forgot about that <laughs> you know so all of the everything that was done from a certain point was very like uh, how to say uh, was erroneous uh, erroneous i think it's in it was done in error in an error uh, erroneous way and anyway uh, you know, uh, I had to uh, keep my mental health every time I was watching an email from them and they were saying like, no, I was like, oh my God, oh my God. I was like, <laughs> like really, bro? I like really, I, I, oh my, oh my. Anyway, yeah, we, uh, let's come back to the game. That was my uh, uh, my rant about uh, my uh, company. Uh, my uh, Well, not my company. You know, my uh, the company I uh, have my energy bills on, or had my energy bills on. Uh, I do hope they're actually going to improve, and I do hope it's not going to happen to anybody else. Uh, it's good that uh, it, it uh, actually uh, ended up like this. Uh, yes, yes, that's that was quite something. Um, you know, my father was like, man, I wouldn't have this... Uh, <laughs> I would have done this. He was like, uh, man, I have better things to do than to uh, argue with, with them. <laughs> but yeah, what can I say? Um, we do have a Zulu defending, um, as you can see, with um, a few swordsmen. He did manage to get the city of Vondini with um, a swordsman inside it. And uh, that city is uh, going to get um, hit by Varus. Uh, there is a gem over here that, of course, makes this Varus uh, stronger. While in the city of Vondini, we also have those walls going up in tooth. Oh, this turn, actually, look at that. Alexis did buy that um, uh, forest style, put a builder on it, and chopped the um, uh, forest for that wall. And we do have uh, more archers. Of course, the archers are taking quite a beating from these uh, Varus. And I'm pretty sure Alexis would actually need to close the chokes over here uh, to the city of uh, Bulawayo so the Varus cannot actually um, encircle the city. We do have uh, cannibals coming out from uh, India. Uh, I did notice uh, somebody calling it out. A religious war beginning. Uh, we got uh, in Tyler with trust, trusted actually. Um, calling us out uh, with the missionaries uh, going towards uh, Kumasi. Uh, looks like uh, he is uh, going to try to convert that city, while, of course, uh, uh, he will need to convert the Zulu cities as well. I do have to point out, uh, if he does manage to uh, properly convert his uh, own cities, he will put quite a bit of pressure, an important amount of pressure on the Zulus, uh, on Zulus, um, 
religion. Um, I'm not sure exactly what his mission is in Kumasi. Maybe he's going to get a free uh, envoy from there. We do have um, uh, Zulu with um, a catapult starting to attack on Dini. Of he does have... Um, uh, there we go. He did some attacks on the Spearman and uh, didn't want to sacrifice the strength of the Varu here. Uh, the Varu takes considerable damage from attacking into a Spearman and I'm pretty sure that's the reason uh, he doesn't want to attack with them. It's very important, by the way, to note that um, Chandra Gupta's... Uh, um, uh, how to say, Chandra Gupta's time is now. If he doesn't actually manage to break Zulu before the MP timing, he might not get a second chance. And that is why he is attacking so, um, um, uh, so fast on the, on the Zulu series. We do have uh, more swordsmen coming out from Bulawayo in uh, the city of Ondini. Nothing, uh, there was a spearman actually got produced, and I'm pretty sure Alexis will uh, move one to the east over here. Uh, at the same time, Tirits is going to sneak in some uh, missionaries, and um, they will not be seen until too late. I'm pretty sure they will probably get to convert the city of Nodwengu at least. Uh, also, another thing that... Um, um, Alexis will need to be careful and not to actually give enough promotions to these Varus or enough uh, experience points for the Varus to promote themselves uh, because it is going to be very awkward um, when they will. Uh oh, he's actually shooting them. Uh oh, one more shot, uh, two more shots and that uh, Varu will promote. Maybe it will actually die before. We do have a general recruited by uh, Zulu also, and of course the um, you, you do see uh, he does have a few swordsmen uh, ready to attack the catapult backline, uh, while uh, missionaries are also arriving next to the city center of Ondini. This is a full religious war coming up from Tirits. He's gonna go. Actually, I see what he's doing. He's gonna totally ignore Kumasi. He's gonna go Nodwengu. Bam. He's gonna go Bulawayo. Bam. He's gonna go Ondini. Bam. And that's it. Oh my god, that is, that is gonna be so fast. And yes, best and danger, thank you very much, sir. I am gonna drink some water. Oh no, he actually let the Faru promote. I thought he's gonna attack it with uh, the Spearman, but you saw. He, he did have enough uh, strength on the Spearman, he didn't know that, and he didn't want to challenge it, so unfortunately, well, that uh, was a bit of an issue. We do need to see the last moves. Coming up um, next turn or this turn? I want to see I see the last move uh, this turn, I think, and next turn we're going to see the conversion. Uh, we don't have a lot of population on this series from Zulu, and this is extremely important because you don't actually get to Oh my god, look at the movement on these missionaries. They actually get to next to Bolawayo and get to spread. This is unbelievable, by the way. How fast these uh, missionary uh, zeal uh, missionaries go through. Um, there were just walls there this turn. Yes, indeed. Uh, also, uh, Nick D is telling us that uh, he believes the religious uh, conditions of victory on a 1v1 is not that fair. Uh, I guess. Okay, so last moves. Will there be another attack? Uh, I don't think he's gonna totally ignore Ulundi. That's a seven pop city. Okay, let's see. He did convert on Dini. He's converting on Wengu. He moving. He's moving next to Bolawayo. And there we go. Let's see it. Boom, Catholicism. Boom, Catholicism over here. He converted on Wengu. That's one more city, and that's it. Now it's a 50-50, right? And we do see that uh, Alexis at the moment doesn't have a unit to actually... Oh, he's trying to get a scout. He chopped a scout and he got it! He got it! Chopped a scout! Can you imagine chopping a scout and reverting that attack on Nodwengu, on Ondiri as well, and Bulawayo? Three of those uh, uh, series got converted back to uh, Catholic Protestantism from Catholicism. Now, of course, uh, Alexis back is pushing uh, on the Varus and we do see that he is uh, managing to keep... Um, uh, on Dini a little stronger, uh, he could actually switch uh, with a Spearman, uh, with a full strength Spearman on this one. Uh, maybe get some uh, moves done, but it doesn't look like he's just going to keep it over there for the sake of keeping it over there. 
Yeah, we do have uh, to see also what it is, has been doing behind all of this. He's still on five cities, getting more Varus out. Uh, remember, whenever he's uh, building a unit, he's also getting uh, important amount of um, faith out of that unit. 30% of that faith uh, of that unit's production goes into faith. It's very important. And also, let's see, Kung. Uh, good evening, sir, and welcome. Uh, can't you just condemn the heretic? You can, and that's exactly what happened. Nice scout chop. Uh, 50,000 IQ man that is why Alexis is on the second place over there in the 1v1s big brain planes coming up from him the city of Ondinit got converted back we do have another one of these virus uh, taken out only three of them on the front line here uh, more cannibals coming out of the production queues of uh, Hyderabad and of course we do see that Alexis is four turns away four turns away from getting uh, his uh, impies uh, one of the big things that unfortunately is not happening is he's not getting enough gold so he could actually get that going another scout chop in Nodwengu uh, he pillaged that uh, missionary condemned it and of course as you can see in the city of Nodwengu got uh, converted back um, to a neutral state and he's probably gonna get enough pressure from his own cities so he converts back to uh, his um, protestantism we got walls coming up in one turn in Nondini if uh, Tiris is not gonna get to shoot them and it doesn't look like he's um, prioritizing attacking into Spearman oh there we go there we go shooting with an archer just in, you know a bit of damage a bit of damage but that actually scared off the workers from doing the repair out of defense uh, re repair outer defense uh, project wow man this is quite something Okay, we got um, more of these missionaries showing up from Hyderabad and Chennai. Uh, one more city of uh, India this time got converted to his opponent's uh, religion. And you do see that um, actually we still have Ondini uh, converted to uh, Catholicism. Uh, India is uh, pushing as uh, hard as he can. And we now have uh, more catapults arriving on the scene. Uh, trying to take shots of uh, the arches this time. Uh, there is a source one that could be actually placed in the city of Ondini. Victor is establishing in that city. And of course, um, we do see that uh, the moment the Varus don't have enough strength to attack into it. I'm a bit surprised. Oh, there we go. Okay, finally. Uh, I, I was a bit surprised he kept a Spearman in there. Because that city was a bit lower in strength. Third 31 versus 36 with the Spearman inside. Where is the Chandra Archer pre-builds for Expos? That's a good question, sir. It looks like he um, prioritized more to go on horses and catapults rather than archers. Now we do have a swordsman coming out from Hyderabad. He is going to try to push on Ondini, Ulundi, I mean, on Ulundi with, a can, um, with two of these um, Catholicism missionaries. Uh, he is going to try to convert that city and, of course, he's going to use the horse uh, to actually uh, defend against this. Uh, we do have a missionary coming out from Alexis, probably going to try to convert convert back um, on Dini and um, at the same time we will need to see what he's gonna do with the uh, northern settle uh, of course uh, Nodwengu is uh, gonna take some time to actually convert back to his um, uh, protestantism and I'm pretty sure at the moment Alexis has um, quite a few um, uh, droplets of sweat on his face this is a problem for him right being pushed from the beginning oh my god if only he wouldn't have lost that city at the beginning of the game we do have another uh, swordsman coming up uh, next turn from Ulundi. Oh my god, even a drought. Uh, even a drought attacks the land of Zulu. This is unfortunate. Taking down the horse, taking down quite a few um, uh, tiles over here uh, with um, that extra food. Unfortunately, well, it did happen. We do have um, a line of Varus uh, going against the cities of uh, Zulu. He did manage to convert back the city of uh, Ondini. And you do see that he just took out another one of these uh, Varus. Uh, while he did manage to get a tile, two of the Varus actually got taken down. Took a tile from the east side and only one single Varus remains that can only attack from across the river. You can see the river over here. A tiny river, but it's there. Uh, it does look like in the city of uh, Ulundi. We still have uh, six of these um, uh, 
how to say, uh, protestantism uh, followers. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna see uh, India try to do some shenanigans over here. He does have two of these missionaries, but I don't think they're gonna be strong enough to fully convert the city of Ulundi. Uh, we also, there we go, it's only 200 strength. It did only get one single follower with that um, uh, pressure uh, we got nine monitors uh, nine more turns until the next era alexis Kremp is uh, two turns away from getting his military um tactics and i don't want to see his gold he's at 48 gold at the moment does look like he's gonna need to hard build those impies if he does uh, want to get them and uh, all of his army to the south is actually very 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 weak uh, he's gonna need to uh, run away with them because these archers will definitely make a quick work of it we do have um, um, quite a few swordsmen, quite a few uh, archers uh, with uh, promotions also available. There we go. We got some shots. One of the horses got taken out. Probably another one will be taken out. Uh, he did manage to condemn that. One. Oh my God! Some big first moves coming out. Uh, two of the um, units of Zulu did move very quickly. Did manage to condemn that uh, missionary, and of course, um, uh, immediately Tiritz tried to move with another one out of there. Uh, he ga Tiritz gave up on attacking Odini. And now we're going to need to see how he's going to reposition to attack Ulundi. We do have uh, uh, more archers coming out from Chennai, from the main cities of uh, India. I do see uh, builders uh, ready to chop over here to the south of Hyderabad, probably another archer. And he is at the moment going to focus everything he has on that uh, city center. Uh, the cities to the north did get converted back. Protestantism in Ondini, Bulawayo, uh, Nodwengu is going to follow up next. And... Um, I'm pretty sure with the missionary over here, he should be fine to protect himself. Um, this, I guess, is one of the things that India didn't have. One of those apostles, if you would have had an apostle, it would have been a different ball game. That's a lot more pressure that you put when you actually try to spread. Uh, domination victory incoming that's a good one actually i don't know if uh, it's gonna be a domination there still are chops available for him uh, and uh, alexis is making 20 faith a turn he should have a builder soon and if he does manage to chop one of these tiles of forest uh, rainforest tiles he should be able to chop the walls but i mean you know anything can happen especially if uh, uh, we do have some fast moves from tirits managing to take out uh, the strength of the city of ondini before uh, alexis can react one of the things that also happen you can see that zulu does benefit from a lot of uh, promoted archers which does allow him to do considerable damage against the virus that's one of the actually go-to strategies if you want to uh, take care of the virus stronger units in front uh, a lot of archers in the back and you do manage to get a lot of damage uh, done Okay, another Valu got taken out, another one moves uh, in his place, it does look like uh, we do have uh, one that uh, got promoted, uh, the one next to Ondini also got taken out, while you only see an archer and a catapult coming up over here. Whoa, 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 also, crossbows coming out from Hyderabad, uh, we do have... Um, Quite a few archers um, available to upgrade. Neither of them do have the gold though. Uh, you can see that Tiritz is only on uh, 11 gold in the bank. And we do have him barely making 11 gold a turn. Three turns for the first Timpi to come out of uh, the capital and Ondini. Uh, that's his second city. Another one in Bulawayo. Of course, you do see that at the moment he, uh, Alexis is switching all of his uh, production towards getting those Impies out to fight against the Varus. Those should have enough strength to punch back against the... The Indian army that's gonna be massive that is gonna be massive One second, I do have to share something really quickly because otherwise I'll, I'm going to forget it. Uh, okay, until it's moving over here.
Okay, so India did manage to take back that uh, Ikanda tile. We do have one turn for the first team to come out. Actually, Bulawayo is going to get another one over there. We might actually see one chop this turn. No, next turn. Uh, while um, it does also seem like Kumasi also uh, did get um, uh, soothed by Tirits. Hyderabad is going to get a crossbow next turn, and that is also a good unit to actually attack into those um, impies. Uh, next turn, when the... Um, when the MP will come out, we're gonna need to see if uh, Alexis will manage to get back uh, this tile next to his capital because you do see there are catapults available to shoot against the city center, and this is gonna be dangerous. Of course, with the MP, it will be a higher strength city. Um, uh, taking a look at the MP um, strength, it is 45 melee strength, and of course, uh, it will um, allow him to defend a little easier. Nick D, uh, what match is this officially for number one? This is for number two player. This is uh, third place fighting against second place for the second place. And of course, if uh, the winner uh, uh, will be found out tonight, and we will fi actually find him out tonight, we'll see uh, him fighting against Mewal for the king of the hill. That's uh, that's what's uh, happening over here. Did I actually, yeah, I, I did. Uh, I did switch the. I was uh, trying to uh, um, uh, talk with, uh, how to say, uh, the girl that uh, helped me out with um, uh, the editor, let's not call her uh, the girl, uh, the editor that helped me out with the shorts and I was trying to ask her if she could uh, do a little less uh, zooms in, zooms out and that's, you know, something that I will forget uh, later on in the day, uh, maybe it will be uh, better. Uh, okay, let's take a look at what's going on. It does look like with the MP arrival on the balancing, we do have, um, uh, by the looks of it, India's uh, army being pushed back. Uh, you can take a look at the damage here. MP is uh, 60 strength against that capital 36. And of course, um, uh, uh, we don't actually have that much of an army left from India. This is a very big problem. We do have next turn Statue of Zeus coming out from Calcutta, which will give him quite a few free units. Uh, three of those spearmen and of course, uh, two of um, archers with uh, one battery ram all of those are probably going to move towards the defense of uh, Chennai and we do need to see how the um, crossbows will deal with uh, the impies not a lot of damage I have to say especially since they are fighting in defense of, of the faith territory uh, Zulu is um, going to benefit from quite a bit of um, health on these uh, impies I do also notice a missionary did uh, snuck in and now it's snuck out on the city of Hyderabad. Uh, probably wants to convert his own city back to his own religion. Uh, okay, we do have um, the Varus coming up over here uh, from Chennai. They can definitely take out that swordsman and that's exactly what they're going to do. But they're going to meet the uh, impies on the battlefield. And this is a 63 strength unit going against the Varu. It does uh, benefit from that uh, plus 10 combat strength against cav units. And I'm pretty sure Alexis uh, chose uh, Zulu uh, because of this uh, possible, um, how to say, um, uh, possible thing. Actually, wait a second. What were the choices? When, when was Zulu picked? Uh, when does the Zulu core come? Uh, nationalism. We got him uh, two, turns, two turns away. Let's see. Zulu. Let me actually double check that information. A city with a Ganesan plus five, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we'll upgrade it into cores. Uh, Shaka. Okay. May form cores at mercenaries. Yeah. When does he get cores? Yes. Mercenaries. Mercenaries. Wait, I said, oh my god, I said Nash, mercenaries, I meant mercenaries, anyway, whatever, two turns, two turns, two turns, India on defense right now, yes, uh, I would be so tempted to sneak on a parcel around the coast to Ulundi, can you imagine trying to get one in the, but I mean, he would need, um, uh, what, uh, sailing and shipbuilding, I think, uh, yeah, shipbuilding, he would need shipbuilding, that's a problem, right, you, you don't, you just don't have the technology the science per turn to actually go there 
We do have um, Zulu, of course, with an EP with a promotion on it. It does seem like uh, he's um, gonna get shot by a few of these uh, crossbows. Uh, doesn't really mind it though, I'm pretty sure that he's uh, fine. Um, we also see that the statue of Zeus uh, uh, built in uh, Calcutta, and of course, we do have uh, India coming um, to the south with uh, Chennai with all of those units to defend against um, Zulu here. While more impies are coming out of the cities, he's gonna need to core them up when he's gonna get that um, mercenary civic. And uh, I do see he has enough of them for at least uh, three cores at the moment, while he's gonna build a few more, which is gonna be very nice. Now uh, we do have um, uh, Nodwengo coming up with another uh, MP next turn. That's like uh, Bulawayo is uh, gonna get um, uh, some extra science as well. Uh, he did put down his government plaza earlier. I didn't get to talk about this, but he went for Wallo's throne. And of course, uh, he did manage to get uh, that extra production towards his units. One of the reasons he's getting um, uh, these MPs so fast. I'm also quite certain he's benefiting from, <laughs> you know, that extra gold, or I should say less gold per unit, uh, which is um, so important. We only have uh, Indian catapults available to uh, attack, uh, to defend over here and without uh, strong units like mini units to defend against the impies, or I should say men at times not if, um, uh, would be uh, at least uh, the choice to defend against the impies. he might actually succumb to the pressure of uh, Zulu. Um, totally not practical. Wait, it uh, would be so. Uh, yes, yes. I, I mean, I totally get it, and I would have loved to see some of those sneaky plays. You've seen how he tried to do uh, the best uh, strategy he could uh, to convert the cities. He was so close. That was one turn away from getting a win. He was that close to, from to getting a win. If he would have converted the city of Bulawayo, that was it. That would have been it. He already had Ondini, he already had Nodwengu, just needed Bulawayo. And I guess he could have tried to get one more uh, mar uh, missionary there, but couldn't. Okay, we do see now Zulu's units are starting to core up. They still do, even without the cores, in, uh, sufficient damage against uh, Indian's units. One of the reasons you do core them up is to uh, not take a lot of damage on return, but you have to take into account you turn two units into one, so that means less units on the battlefield. You might actually uh, give up some uh, choke, um, yes, I would say, create some chokes here and there some holes in your uh, armor, uh, in your defense, which might be problematic. Uh, we do have um, more of these impies, there we go, uh, being uh, put on the battlefield, and uh, we do see that uh, definitely is gonna need to uh, attack soon uh, with them, uh, counter-attacking to India, and he deals catastrophic damage, overwhelming damage against these units, uh, the horses, and of course even the Varus. <coughs> I do uh, notice he's uh, calling up also his uh, arches in the main cities, and of course uh, this will turn into 50 strength uh, units, not really needing that uh, crossbow technology. Crossbows would be amazing in this case, but it doesn't look like uh, that's going to be the way to go for uh, Alexis. It's just not going to be a possibility with uh, the gold per turn he's benefiting from at the moment. I did manage to get 490 uh, military strength versus Tiritz's uh, 400, and I do see he did manage to uh, finally, finally get back on the science and the uh, culture. Taking a look at uh, what's going on over here, there we go, we got a last move attack, and Alexis did manage to take down two of the, three of the units of India in a Ryan, and of course you do see that he did sacrifice one of his impies, but it was one of those um, uh, single ones, uh, he's gonna move uh, stronger ones on the battlefield, and I'm pretty sure once he's gonna smack this Varu, uh, silly, you can see the 71 strength against the 46, that's not gonna be survivable. We do have him uh, needing to move a few arches here from Odini, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna need to uh, get uh, more over here on uh, the battlefield. Um, Ulundi building MP, we got um, Odini building an MP, Bulawayo building an MP, neither of them are actually building MP cores though. Uh, he is gonna need to hard build them as uh, much as he can. From the cities of Ondini, we do, uh, what I should say, from the cities of India, uh, we do have uh, multiple uh, ranged units coming out and uh, they will try to valiantly defend against these um, impies. But uh, looking at the damage between them, it looks like the impies are just shrugging off that damage. 45 strength against the 67 of the impi. I'm pretty sure um, with the help of these archers, he should be able to push in quite as, uh, easily against uh, India here. 
Uh, we do have uh, General also available for uh, Zulu, and that's a Trunk track, and uh, that's one of the reasons he's getting that extra plus 5 on his uh, units. India did also go for his um, Wall of Throne. It looks like he's uh, hard building crossbows as much as he can, getting his temples for some extra faith uh, per turn. He did manage to get to 38 out of, um, well, 38 per turn, I mean. And I do notice um, Alexis over here is uh, biding his time to actually go in, to actually go against India's army. Oh, there we go. He just took out another one. I want to see the damage. Now, this is the moment of truth. We do need to see the damage on the MP core. We got one crossbow, two crossbows. One Spearman, one Varu next to that crossbow. So the uh, MP is with a minus five. Okay, that's not enough. That's not enough. That's, look at this. They're basically dying against one single MP core. Oh my God. He's going to need to delay somehow those uh, MPs from getting uh, next to his uh, cities so he can uh, take them out uh, with uh, the crossbows. Uh, of course, uh, we do have more MP cores coming out from the north of Hyderabad. This one actually has a free movement. This also has a free movement. And uh, we do notice that he can definitely uh, move next to the city center. Uh, also, not to mention, he can take out this uh, catapult and then uh, smack against the city center. Not going to do enough damage to take it out completely. And I'm pretty sure he's going to try to delay a little bit that um, attack to get more units in there. He's trying to rebuild his Ikanda from Ulundi, putting down a campus that's only... well. It's only going to be put down. I don't think it's going to be built. It's only a plus one uh, science campus. And we do have um, you know, more archers coming up on the defense of uh, Hyderabad. I'm pretty sure Tirits over here will try to uh, uh, keep up with uh, the defense. Oh my god, such a close game, such a close back and forth. And of course, um, at the moment, it's the only reason India is staying alive is because Zulu doesn't have enough production. Oh, let's see. Let me... Uh, pretty flowers, hello there. Or uh, I should say pretty flow rest. Hello, good evening. Let me take a look over here. Protestantism with... Uh, p -p 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 digital. Oh, I think I should go B. Uh, let's go... That plus 10 now is definitely unfair. Well, I mean, the plus 10 against the CAV units, you mean? Or what do you mean? No, I mean, it's not really his fault India is defending against uh, uh, anti-CAV units with uh, CAV units, right? Oh my god, look at, the, look at the first moves. He did lose, wait, he did lose? He did lose one of his MP cores. Oh my god, that would have been amazing if he managed to catch that. Two of his MP cores. This is a big problem. And lost the um, uh, general for this one. This is a big problem. This looks like Alexis uh, overreached uh, and uh, unfortunately lost a few more units than he should have had. We're going to need to see if uh, his uh, production from his cities is going to be good enough to actually uh, out get back new ones. Uh, we do have them in uh, both of them in a golden age. This time they went for a pen, brush and voice golden age. Uh, 26 science on Tirits, uh, 23 science on Alexis, uh, 40 culture on Tirits, uh, 32 culture on Alexis. Uh, getting a few uh, campuses out. I see horses also in production from Padna. And of course, uh, with uh, Calcutta getting the Statue of Zeus, he did manage to, uh, first of all, deny it from Zulu. Second of all, get uh, free units out of that wonder and uh, manage to uh, uh, get uh, an advantage when it comes to building anti-cav units. Uh, Outseeming is much more reliable than religious victory. Why not monumentality for more cities? Uh, that's a good question. I think uh, they are trying 
uh, how to say, he's a bit worried about uh, his culture and of course he wants monarchy, he wants to go for uh, the later civics and the culture is just uh, much more uh, easier to go for, especially since he doesn't have a lot of population to put down uh, theater squares and so on. Oh, I, did, I didn't notice this. Oh my God, I should have talked about this. Um, Tirith has a plus four campus in the capital th that did turn into a plus eight with the double card. Very important, by the way. I did miss this at the beginning. Would have been uh, quite important to say at the beginning, but oh well. We do have uh, the MP core that is about to be taken down. You do see more MPs uh, showing up. And uh, this is what I was um, uh, warning about earlier. If you do core up with units, yes, you're going to have a lot of uh, a lot stronger units, but you have to pay attention to uh, your unit number. If you do have a low unit number, your units can get um, uh, enveloped. And of course, if you are trying to do some uh, weird moves against your uh, opponent or uh, some cheeky moves, uh, taking out down a unit here and there, immediately after you take down a unit, you cannot actually counter attack for that remaining of the turn. And that means uh, your unit um, will not get to promote, will not get to react uh, to anything, which of course will put it in danger most often than not. How much of a 1v1 comes down to who spawns with more strategics? Um, I wouldn't say it matters that much, honestly. Because especially with BBS, most of the time you do uh, spawn with a decent amount of strategics. I think what matters is uh, if you do discover the strategics in time, settle near them and get them work in a decent amount of time. I think those three things are more important than actually uh, who spawns uh, with more. Because you can spawn with 10 of them if you don't work any, I mean, <laughs> you know, you're just gonna die, bro. Okay, so Alexis did manage to get uh, two more of these uh, MP cores. This time he did manage to upgrade one, promote one, and uh, now he has uh, two more to the north, uh, defending against India's uh, units. You do see the MPs against the Spearmen are not uh, as strong as you. Well, actually, no, they are. I'm not sure what I saw earlier, but they were like equal. Now, of course, the Archer cores will make quick work of those uh, Spearmen, and uh, by the looks of it, uh, the MP core will one-shot the Archers in return of the Indian Army. Uh, we do have uh, these crossbows that need to shoot against the um, MPs, and um, with a much more concentrated uh, army, it is much better here. Finally, he did get his Ikanda back. He can actually get the uh, MP cores uh, coming up from Olundi, hard building them, and that means uh, he's going to build them uh, much faster, I would say. Instead of going six turns for two of the MP cores, he is going to go uh, four turns or five turns actually to get one. I think f four turns, if I'm not mistaken. City of Hyderabad doesn't look like it's uh, gonna die, but I'm pretty sure uh, Tirith would need to actually uh, take out the catapults of India one by one, especially since now they are getting uh, more levels, which they are gonna be um, uh, stronger soon. Uh, they are gonna get stronger soon. And we do have uh, more crossbows coming up from Pana and Chennai. Uh, we got a builder from Calcutta, and uh, I do see getting another one from Delhi. Didn't put any more cities here, especially this one. Um, oh my god, he didn't even get that Tiki hat. Be bro, you gotta get the easter egg, bro. Anyway, you know, we do have a city of Hyderabad actually um, uh, getting focused here. It looks like it is gonna be taken down. Uh, it does look like, um, of course, uh, at the moment, India does not have a unit to attack with uh, onto that city and take it back, but he did manage to counterattack with a few units onto the um, Zulu MP cores. Oh my god, that is impressive, by the way. Uh, Alexis did either did get very big brain and managed to uh, uh, calculate when he's gonna need to attack with what unit to actually get enough uh, health remaining to uh, withstand all of the attacks on return or he got extremely lucky just uh, happening like this but if you do see the MP over here does have a promotion he's gonna get one Th this one also has a promotion and is um, uh, gonna try is uh, definitely gonna try to get one 
Well, we do have uh, more of them coming from the west over here. Did manage to put uh, India on the same number of cities as he is at the moment. And I'm, uh, from what I can see, of course, uh, is trying to get uh, more science and more culture coming out of his uh, land. We do have another MP core coming up in two times from Ulundi, another one uh, from Ondini. And uh, from his uh, cities to the north, he did manage to put down a plus three campus in Nodwengu. While he did chop most of this territory, he will need to upgrade it. Uh, MP in any scenario. Wait, what, what happened? Would you say Varu or MP are more advantageous in this scenario? MP in this scenario is more advantageous. Uh, at the beginning, depending on the, uh, how to say, uh, how far away are you from your opponent, what kind of strategy you're going to pull, you saw how important the Varu was against his opponent. He almost, almost managed to get the win over there. Almost. He was like so close, so close. Very good moves coming out from um, uh, Alexis. That's what saved. Very good moves coming out from Alexis. He did say so himself right at the beginning. Uh, you did hear uh, him uh, speak a little bit. Alexis Rimp, and did, he did definitely see uh, that... Um, um, say that he has... He thinks, he considers he has better word moves than his opponent. Well, we did see a big back and forth coming out from them. Uh, we did see also... Um, uh, bro, that was his city, by the way. Pretty flowers, that was his city, man. Also, uh, what can I say, man? He had a, a problem. That was his religion, I mean. <laughs> and uh, please, no comments about, uh, you know, uh, uh, that. Uh, MP are specifically good against uh, Cav units like Varu, although Varus were really good in the classical army era and let the Chandragupta nearly win religious victory protected by Varus. Yes, one thing, one single uh, missionary was uh, between him and a victory over there. If you would, or one single turn, either one extra missionary to actually convert the Bulawayo city in one turn or one of those uh, turns uh, so he could actually get there. Uh, I do have to point out, of course, uh, we did have a builder coming out from Bulawayo in a uh, he, he had one ready in Bulawayo so he was able to chop down um, scout who did manage to get um, uh, how to say um, the pillage on that missionary From what I can see, of course, Alexis is um, going to move forward with his uh, MP core army. And we do have a Shenai with only one swordsman, one crossbow, and one horse this time. He does have across the river a few catapults and uh, crossbows. But he's going to need to reposition them uh, closer to that city. Uh, the catapults don't really do uh, important amount of damage against the MPs. And of course, uh, the MPs do deal an important amount of damage against all of the, his opponent units. Um, it, it does seem like... The Zulu production was over the, um, the Indian production in this uh, scenario. We did have India uh, settling a bit uh, and trying to um, uh, get a few uh, wonders out, trying to get more uh, districts out, trying to get uh, more seam out, more builders and so on. While, of course, uh, it doesn't look like that actually uh, panned out for him. Uh, taking a look at uh, Chennai, unfortunately, he doesn't have an army left to defend with. And... Um, you definitely need the melee units to actually defend against these MP cores. The melee units cannot counterattack into the MPs, but they can withstand a few more uh, a few more attacks than the straight up uh, horses. Okay, there we go. Alex is uh, just um, getting more MP cores here. I'm pretty sure he's gonna try to attack and then. Um, uh, actually, I'm not sure why he didn't with this one, but sure, whatever. Okay, finally we can we get to see this. And boom, another one got taken down. He's moving into the city of Chennai. We do have a man at arms actually uh, getting back out of there. I'm not sure why he moved there and then moved back. Uh, of course, we could have actually seen uh, what was going on on the damage tree, but I didn't actually get to check. Unfortunate, but it happened. We do have a Tirits uh, moving in from the south with those catapults and trying to reposition to uh, save the city of Chennai. But I mean, this doesn't look like it's going to happen. Even with um, the extra strength coming up from those... Um, from that men at arms with a general it is a 44 strength city still the mp course is 63 and he does have a more than decent amount of number of them with uh, the support help of some archer course he will deal uh, the damage against the indian and the remaining indian units 
Uh, Nerf in peace. <laughs> Sky turns gravy now. Hello there and welcome. Uh, they didn't get the third or fourth belief yet. Uh, let me see. Uh, no, they didn't. Neither of them. Neither of them. Oh man, walls in fortress. That's not gonna happen. There are no more chops left uh, unless you take into account the rainforest underneath that banana but i mean that's also not gonna happen uh, and uh, it doesn't like uh, tiris has a way to actually defend that city at the moment i'm pretty sure we're probably gonna see a zulu uh, move across the river or directly attack into that city center he can attack with three units move this one here and then uh, attack with this one over here while we do have some last moves coming off from um, uh, India okay he's uh, calling up units moving more on the front line doesn't actually attack right now uh, okay uh, okay so we'll see we'll see I think this one moves here this one moves uh, on its place this one archer core attacks crossbow then with the MP core you take out the crossbow and then you move uh, you move next turn a new MP over there on the front line but needs to be uh, last moves. So you take out two units and at the same time get a position on uh, the city of Chennai. Um, okay, uh, yeah, and that was when Zulu didn't have impies. Yeah, indeed, indeed. That was, uh, so it was very close. V <gasps> Delhi, buying two of these apostles. Oh my God, he's gonna try to do it. He got two apostles, boys. He's gonna try to do it. He's going in. He's going in, boys. Oh my we do have uh, Zulu with a 229 faith and of course uh, these apostles do have the um, uh, 5 movement speed on them he's trying to get the cheeky victory that's gonna be amazing in the world congress we did have um, oligarchy getting a wildcard policy slot looks like he, they went for uh, two diplomatic victory points on Chandra Gupta and protestantism um, was um, well I mean was chosen uh, that if you condemn a unit you do get 25 diplo favor and yeah there we go actually wait what happened with this one where did he move this one here whatever he wanted to pillage oh he wanted the gold okay a diplo win when uh so far away man it's four out of 20 points right now okay we got a new mp on the front line it's not strong enough to attack into the city of chennai by itself but we do see that uh, alex is moving in with more of them and uh Tiritz is gonna try to chop those walls down uh, getting the banana unimproved that means he is preparing to chop that um, rainforest down it's not gonna be a very strong chop but you know it will be a, a chop we got the third oh my god the third one <gasps> look what he's doing he's moving them to the south over here behind Zulu's army and Zulu doesn't have scouts in where did his scouts go did he delete them oh 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 my oh 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 my I like this I mean I like first of all that he's not giving up he's trying to get a win condition for himself and this is such a cheeky tactic look, look going through the south of Chennai over there Is uh, Victor gonna make the difference? That's a good question. Well, next turn he's gonna get a bit more strength onto that city, but of, uh, of course you do see that uh, uh, Tiritz is actually gonna attack, take it down this turn. Oh my God, he actually took it down this turn. Uh, a very good core choice on this MP core allowed him to get another one of the tiles. Um, uh, how to say empty, and he moved in uh, another MP core that he had behind all of this oh my that is quite something first move last moves coming out from um zulu now we're gonna see tiritz uh, go back to his series try to um, keep as many of these uh, crossbows alive the crossbows are definitely not strong enough to withstand the melee attack of the um mp but they do deal an important amount of damage on return and we do have um 
a uh, few men at arms coming out from Calcutta I should say one men at arms coming out from Calcutta with uh, pikemen next to that city center and Delhi is trying to build a new one while Pana is gonna try to get the pikemen there uh, there are catapults available to attack into the city of Chennai but I think uh, Tiritz is a bit wary of using them especially since there is an MP core which is uh, able to one shot it wait what are these apostles uh, he got oh my god he actually got shipbuilding he actually got shipbuilding. Why did he go with this one here, though? I don't know. Is he gonna allow him to take his cities and then shoot back? Is this gonna happen? And then, you know, convert, cheeky convert the cities of uh, Zulu? Oh my god. He's gonna try to do it, boys. He's gonna try to do it. This is so hard to pull off. So remember, uh, you get a religious victory if you basically have 15% plus one uh, cities uh, convert uh, of your opponent's empire converted to your own religion. Uh, opponents, all of opponents, of course. Uh, in this scenario, you just need to get, uh, for example, two, four, five cities. You need to get three cities out of these five uh, to actually convert uh, Zulu and get the win. So it does seem like he's going to need to convert Chennai, Ondini and Ulundi if he wants to get the win here. Uh, Shenai relatively easy to convert he is trying to put these uh, apostles in the water uh, if of course oh another thing that also matters by the way if your opponent takes away cities from you that he, you have your own religion in uh, and of course uh, he has another religion they still count towards the cities I was talking about the 50% plus one so if, uh, for example, he takes uh, Calcutta, uh, Calcutta will be an extra city with uh, Catholicism on the side of uh, the win of uh, India. This is going to be quite massive here. Massive! We do have uh, many uh, these uh, catapults coming up from the south. It doesn't like Tiritz is uh, trying to um, uh, stabilize the defense here, putting Governor Victor this time in Delhi. Uh, still doesn't have enough uh, strength for the walls. And uh, by the looks of it, at the moment Zulu did stop for a while to catch his breath in the city of Chennai. We do have another Ikanda coming out from uh, Ondini. And I do notice he's going to need to, he does have uh, quite a few chops available. Getting his temples in Ulundi, and by the looks of it, uh, he did manage to repair the tiles that got pillaged earlier uh, by his uh, opponent. I don't want to see the damage here. Oh my. Okay. That uh, man at arms, man. The man at arms. Definitely, pikemen are not the way to go here. But I'm pretty sure the pro the issue is uh, iron. That's why he actually got the pikemen. I don't think he had enough iron to build anything else. But he does have 33, but why? Anyway, it happened, you know, he, he tried to do it. Maybe misclick. I don't think so, though. These, these players know what they're doing. I'm pretty sure misclick is not in their uh, vocabulary. Oh man, that crossbow. <laughs> Level 2 crossbow Mancor with uh, the plus 5 volley with the plus 7 storm. One sh almost one shot at the crossbow from India from full health to almost zero health. Unbelievable. Uh, uh, at least he did put it back in the city of Delhi, got a promotion for it, so he got some health back. But still, that was quite problematic. Okay, we do have um, the three apostles from India, uh, as you can see, going through the south over here. We're going to probably get to Ulundi. They do need to get there before the um, uh, temple finishes. So, I, uh, well, I guess there's going to be a temple in Bulawayo, so it's too late anyway. Uh, and he needs to stop, uh, get, get very fast, to get very fast on the cities of uh, Ulundi. Honestly, I'm not even sure how he can pull it off if he doesn't have one in the north. I, I was expecting him to actually convert something in the north here uh, Zulu cornering Chennai Wait, what? connecting Chennai you mean converting oh converting Chennai okay converting yes 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 he is converting it back so unfortunately it's gonna be a bit tougher to actually um, uh, take out um, cities but again three apostles these are quite powerful we do have a night core coming up from Mulundi in five turns, and of course uh, these uh, apostles do move quite fast. You can see they're not being stopped by anything. They do have five movement, and they're gonna be uh, there very, very soon.
This is a Zulu city. Zulu, it counts as a Zulu's um, religion, right? Uh, what's the religious screen? Oh, Fire Tiger page. Welcome. Welcome, ma'am. Hello there. Uh, what's the religious victory? We do have one out of four civs converted to Catholicism, one out of four civs converted to Protestantism. If you take a look over here, uh, we do have a Zulu with a two, four, five cities. One of them didn't get converted back, but it's not that far away from getting converted back. And of course, uh, we only have uh, three cities, four cities with the city of the state of Kabul and uh, probably Geneva uh, that are on, um, of course, um, Catholicism here. The thing is... Um, um, we only have India with uh, three remaining cities. He lost two of them to uh, Zulu, while uh, Zulu did lose one at the beginning, got uh, one back, and of course uh, did manage to counter attack here. Uh, looks like now he's going to go on the offensive with those apostles from the south. They do have the um, movement, but unfortunately, if they are in the water, they actually move um, uh, slower. Uh, he's uh, going to have a bit of an issue. You can see they only have three movement speed instead of that five movement speed we saw earlier, and they, it's not like they were stopped by anything. But I'm pretty sure. Uh, Tirits over here will try to do some uh, last move, first moves to convert to Lundi and Ondini. And of course with the extra movement that he's going to benefit from and that ability to just uh, not be stumped by anything, it's going to be uh, happening quite fast. Uh, he will see he has a builder on the coast, yes. And this builder does have uh, four, three more charges after he got that mine. It should be fine. We got uh, crossbows coming off from uh, Delhi on the west side. Of course, uh, many times, a few many times did make their appearance. I do see Shenai did put down one of those in Kandas right next to Calcutta. I really like this placement, by the way, right in the middle. Uh, these tiles uh, didn't actually get switched as back to the cities of India. And when he did manage to get um, Shenai, he did also convert that one. Um, let's take a look at what's going on here. 119 out of 200 uh, carries on health. And by the looks of it... Um, these catapults of India are going to try to uh, take it down. We do have um, uh, them counter-attacking right now. Another one of the impies got taken out. Of course, uh, while uh, Zulu is going to try to get his uh, night course uh, follow-up on this uh, attack, it does look like uh, he might lose his uh, frontline units before. We do have uh, walls uh, going up in three. Uh, still quite a few catapults available to attack here, uh, while uh, India is uh, starting to uh, push back. This is a bit of an issue. Okay, one catapult down. Might get another one. Let's see. Yes, two catapults down. And we do have we do have the apostles in the water. Uh, there is a galley put into production in two turns. Uh, he doesn't have a chop yet with uh, the builder. And of course, uh, he is going to need to buy out um, uh, some. Does he have the faith? He doesn't have the faith. Only 72 faith for Alexis. Oh, he's, he's going to... Uh, how to say he's gonna um, unimprove the stone and chop something probably let's see did he there was no oh my god tirits don't tell me don't tell me one of them needs to move forward by the way one of them needs to get to Bulawayo if he doesn't get to Bulawayo it's gonna be a problem anyway we got Nodwengu with a horseman uh, there is um, uh, a a a postal over there in the north as well and you can see he's uh, gonna get uh, there this turn actually i'm curious oh he went with the horse to the south oh my god oh my god that city is gonna get converted look at it it's go man so one city over there two with uh, ulundi uh, shena is uh, gonna need to be converted as well we do have uh, missionaries coming out from delhi 
And um, we do see that, of course, uh, uh, India does uh, have enough of an army to go against Chennai over here. It doesn't even need to take out that city, just needs to get it converted. Of course, uh, same can be said about uh, Ondini, just needs to get that city uh, converted to his uh, own religion. Of course, uh, the knights also will have uh, quite a bit of movement. The horses are also going to have a lot of movement. Come on, Tiritz, go, 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 go. Oh, no. He didn't get the movement on, the, on this one. Okay, let's see the conversion. Catholicism, boom. Catholicism, boom. Uh, Gani coming out fr uh, distant from Ulundi. He did manage to pillage one of the um, uh, Catholic Catholicism apostles. And of course, um, uh, that actually was a bit of an issue. Uh, while we do have Alexis moving from the north with a missionary to counteract this uh, incursion. Oh man, the theological fight coming out. Uh, Kumasi, it's uh, Tirith. Tirith has Kumasi. Yeah, it's it's quite impressive how they're uh, doing this. We still have a level 3 catapult available to attack into the city center of uh, Chennai. You do see that it doesn't do impressive amount of damage. And of course, he's going to try to uh, take out the frontline units before he actually goes in. Uh, with uh, the crossbows and everything, he is uh, trying to deal as much damage. But unfortunately, it is not enough. Not enough. It does look like it's um, gonna take a lot longer to actually break Alexis. Why can't I move everything? Anyway, uh, one of the things that, well, I guess. It would have been interesting if he would have moved on the land. I'm pretty sure he would have gotten there much, much faster, even if uh, it was through a building. Uh, forcing Alexis to get a boat doesn't... Oh my god, he's gonna get two of them. Ah, he might actually kill both of those apostles before they get their uh, moves and uh, reconvert his city. Let's see. Next turn. We got one moving on the land. Another one got the conversion and deleted. Deleted. There we go. He deleted it. Okay. So that's uh, not going to be a condemn. Uh, looks like um, uh, Zulu was... Uh, being forced to look at the east side over here while we do have um, him losing another one of his impies. There we go. No! Kill it. There we go. Now he's, he's dealt with it. The men at arms did manage to deal the remaining damage. Uh, Nodwengu still didn't get converted. Uh, that uh, apostle is staying over there, just sitting. Not actually moving forward. It would have been uh, better if it would be a bit closer. You know, just a tad bit closer. While we do have uh, more horses coming up from Mondini and Bulawayo, he's going to try to defend himself um, against this. Uh, it does look like uh, the moment after Ulundi got converted, uh, he's trying to um, get as many of these uh, horses out as possible to defend himself. Uh, getting a missionary from the north and moving it to the south towards the city of Ulundi to reconvert his city. Uh, that's also going to be a bit hard actually to convert, especially with just a missionary. It's uh, five Catholic um, Catholicism followers versus two Protestantism. Uh, this uh, one also, one, two, three, four, uh, can get next to Bulawayo and... Um, uh, try to spread that religion it's a seven pop city so and it does have a uh, six followers so it's not gonna be um, uh, you know just as easy as you might think but i'm pretty sure uh, in the city of nordwengu he can uh, convert it so that's two cities that he can convert with a possible third one over here on uh, shenai from uh, two four five oh my god he can do this oh my oh oh my god he can do this he just needs to take on shenai Missionaries, missionaries moving. He's moving. This is this is the attack. Oh my god, he okay, he's gonna wait a little more. He decided to wait a little more. What's that? Did he lose that? Yeah, he lost the apostle. Oh, I mean he I think he deleted the apostle. Okay, so he's gonna take down another MP core. He does have uh, more movement on the missionary available. And if he does manage to uh, take out the MP core and get next to Chennai, that's gonna be enough. Just do that, do that, take take it out. He does have uh, catapults, uh, crossbow available to take out the MP cores. And of course, uh, you do see that to the north, he has an apostle. Oh my god. 
Oh my God, uh, you know, that moment when you actually have to go to the toilet, but you can't because uh, something awesome. <gasps> no! Bro! Where are you going, bro? Come back! Come back into the light! <laughs> oh my God! Uh, why? Apostles, no uh, promotion? That's a good question. I don't know what promo. Maybe they didn't have uh, strong promotions to begin with. I think I saw one getting the gold, so at least that. Uh, also, uh, oh, I'm under Dryotun. Thank you very much, sir. Um, Zulu might want to remove uh, Moksha. I mean, he got converted back. It's fine. Man, he could have gotten this. I think he could have gotten this. I don't know why he moved this mission. He had two missionaries next to I don't know why he moved them back. I need to ask him afterwards. He could have actually converted Shenai. Also, there's a level four crossbowman core here with uh, the double promo with the double attack available to uh, move. That is dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Uh, now we do have uh, night course coming up from uh, Calcutta. Uh, we do have uh, uh, towards Calcutta, I mean. And uh, you do see that, of course, uh, we do have a Kanda uh, being built from Chennai. No, he switched to a siege tower. Uh, we do have a uh, horse taken down. And I do notice we're probably going to see um, uh, India over here. Uh, need a lot more units to defend himself with but he doesn't ha oh my god he put everything into this did he forget about this apostle here is that what happened oh man i'm i'm trying to figure out why he didn't want to go against the shdf shenai because you you see well, now it's two Protestantism, but it, uh, now it's three, but it, he only has like two, and there was one Catholic. He 100% would have converted that, with uh, especially with two missionaries. Flanking around the left of the mount. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, you, you think he's going towards the back of Chennai? He, he wants to do a, an attack here? I, I'm doubting it. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't look like that's what's happening. Now it's way too many of these uh, night cores coming. You see the night course are dealing uh, so much damage and they're so fast going against these uh, Indian crossbows and the remaining cannibals. And not to mention with the level 4 crossbow here, this is going to be uh, taken down so fast, the city uh, defense. That is going to be an issue. I'm pretty sure he forgot about the, this apostle, by the way. I'm pretty sure he forgot about it. Maybe that's just me, but you know. That's one of the things that sometimes in the heat of the moment you just forget about them. Because you're focused here, you're focused there, you're focused there, 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 and you just, you know, just don't get uh, the last one. The the unit that you want, actually wanted to move. We got a crossbow coming up from Calcutta, another one in three turns from Padna, two turns from Delhi, but honestly all of these uh, are gonna die so fast it doesn't even matter at this point. I'm losing my optimism. No, no, I need to come back to the light now. Let me get some more uh, coffee in me. Maybe that's gonna bring up uh, some more optimism. Uh, Nyord11, good evening, son and Ricardo, 9696. Hello then and welcome. Maybe he wants to sneak up last second with that one apostle. 
I mean, he's been standing there for like 10 turns now. I don't know. Uh, I go B again. I go Pulse. I go Culture. Maybe. Wait, is he gonna get a. Let me actually double check something. Pulse, Culture. Because it's all in the wrist, right? Theocracy. Oh, wait. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, pulse culture. Actually, let's go. Let's go faith. Uh, I find wine brings more. Uh, uh, oh, really? Crispy, by the way. What's up, man? Um, maybe that's all. Maybe I need a few. Uh, how to say? Uh, maybe I need to uh, try some out. But most of the time, wine uh, does give me um, how to say a uh, much higher uh, rhythm, cardiac rhythm, and it's um, how to say over exciting me. I don't know how to how to say it. No, oh, let me do this. It has the opposite effect. It gives me a um, uh, how to say um, headache, but I think it's because I'm not used to it. Maybe he's waiting for Zulu to take a city, then he will last move first. Move the apostles and missionaries in. Wait, I mean, okay, let's count this out, right? We got a city from Calcutta, right? He's gonna take this. If he takes this, it's gonna be one Catholicism um, converted city, and uh, versus five, so that's one out of uh, six, right? right? He needs to get uh, at least four out of six to convert everything, and he has only two missionaries and one apostle to work with so he can convert this one that's gonna put it to two out of six and he could get Shena and uh, Ulund no Ulund is never gonna be converted back uh, 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 maybe maybe it's five and three maybe not bad oh okay there we go so it's the same thing but with different uh, story so there we go I uh, I, I guess um, I did tone it down quite a bit from my days in uh, how to say like in my teens I was uh, always with uh, a lot of uh, quote unquote uh, energizers uh, Red Bulls and stuff like that but then uh, my uh, heart um, uh, well couldn't uh, well no I didn't have a problem with my heart but I couldn't uh, get to sleep anymore I was um, waking up or sweating uh, which was a bit of a problem uh, I thought Ulundi was uh, still Catholicism oh yeah yeah that's the problem he converted it back he got a missionary and converted it back and uh, you do see that Alexis is trying to uh, defend himself he's getting more uh, missionaries so he can uh, keep his cities converted to his own religion uh, that's the problem that's the problem Uh, I do have to say it's a big difference between um, getting um, you know, on the coffee side by the way I did notice a big difference uh, drinking coffee from like uh, those uh, capsules or drinking um, um, coffee from beans coffee from beans coffee from capsules uh, uh, I don't know not so much not so much it causes problems with the with the belly and stuff like that with the stomach I don't know yeah beans is exactly a lot better I did find from my uh, my my father uh, did go to uh, a store to actually get his uh, tires uh, switched and everything and he got me a coffee that is made in Romania am I like really bro you're actually making coffee in Romania oh <laughs> Uh, actually packaged in Romania I guess not really made in Romania uh, but yeah I, I'm actually anxious to try it out it's next up you know it's like I drink a few more uh, coffees in the next days and it goes into the grinder and I'm like oh woo, okay I'm trying one now I, uh, what do you mean capsules they're like uh, let me actually put it out uh, pod things I don't know about the pod things but they're like did, I guess pod things uh coffee capsules yes. uh, 
Let me see. I need to put them on the screen. Give me a sec. There we go. These ones. See these capsules? Anyway, let me actually take a look over here. We do have a city takeover. Zulu did manage to take out uh, the city from India. And it does look like at the moment there are only two more cities for uh, TDs to work with. Uh, he didn't get his city, city Chennai converted. And it does look like uh, Alexis is going to go for this... Um, uh, kill over here. He is aware that he might be converted to uh, the opponent's religion, so he's not gonna actually um, uh, keep the series. He raised it. He raised it. Didn't want to take the chance of uh, having over this, and then it's called it out. Those didn't see a way to get to back ages. into the game after even that cheeky uh, religious victory um, uh, that he tried. Uh, unfortunately, oh my God, GG. Well played by both of them. Wanted to go for the initial attack, couldn't get though. Uh, couldn't get there and with um, the Varus and everything, but did manage to take down the city. Uh, Ondini got uh, settled twice, uh, but then, oh my god, Zulu managed to come back out of that predicament, got a lot of spearmen out, converted them into impies, then pushed back into India. Unbelievable. Uh, what a game, man. Turn 84, what a Nirel war. Let me actually uh, take a look at uh, what I can see over here. Uh, we do have uh, pa, 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 uh, them talking, them talking, yeah, them talking, man. Ouais, ouais, il... Il a compris son armée qui était pas parfaite, parfaite, même si elle était bien. Surtout Alexis qui a, qui a très bien défendu, il a défendu euh, sans unité classique au début, euh, t'as bien fait ce qu'il fallait, c'était... C'était vraiment une, 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 comment dire, une leçon de comment défendre un rush unité classique quand t'as pas d'unité classique. Les moyens du bord et les moves militaires étaient, euh, étaient vraiment bien de ta part. Euh... Qu'est-ce qui t'a manqué, tu penses, Titi, pour que ça passe Parce qu'il manquait pas grand chose. Genre, à un moment, tu remenaces la, la, la B3, plus, euh, tu menaces la capitale, la religieuse, des, des fois elle était pas très loin. Euh... En fait, déjà, je pense que je dois pas prendre cette croyance là, je dois juste prendre une croyance de sim, vu que je l'ai mis derrière. Ouais, j'aurais dû, dû prendre le lieu sacré, poser mes 5 villes comme j'ai fait. Envoyer les unités est peut-être moins commit en vrai Ou alors quand je vais sur Andini, il faut que je la prenne et que je split ces deux villes en deux J'aurais pas, je pas dû décaler dois... sur la cap Je pense que tu dois pas t'arrêter parce que à partir du moment où t'es devant contre un Zulu Le problème c'est que vu que ça va être une game direct, dès que je touche mercenaire j'ai un plus 10 sur toi toute la gamme mmh. Donc tu peux pas me laisser, puis j'ai de la prod sur les Viganda, donc tu peux pas me laisser atteindre ce timing sans m'avoir mis suffisamment derrière pour être sûr de gagner Donc je pense que commit c'est bien mais faut limite plus commit que ça à ta place, je me serais dîné à la, la raser définitivement. Ouais, ouais on dîné, mais j'aurais pas dû la raser, hein. je pense que. Enfin, en tout cas, la... j'aurais pu forcer sur la ville pour la... Mmh. vraiment la retirer quand je l'ai reposé. Moi, j'ai grid, hein. tu m'as retiré la ville direct, j'ai lancé deux colons parce que je sais que si je fais pas ces deux colons, autant que je cesse, quoi. Genre, je suis en mode, vas-y, je sais qu'il y a les barreaux qui arrivent. Euh, je sors deux colons, je les chope pour rentrer en menu, puis après, je fais des lanciers, quoi, et je croise les doigts. Mais si je fais passer de ville, j'ai 100% lose, donc je suis obligé de me faire. Mmh. Et si toi, même à ce moment-là, tu viens hyper violemment, puis tu t'arrêtes pas, je suis pas censé m'en sortir. Surtout avec euh, de te faire partout et encore. Man, you were so close from winning the spirits. Mmh. One turn, one turn or one missionary away from winning this. Ah ouais, les, 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 les scouts, les missionnaires, je chop les scouts sur les forêts euh, où t'as tes missionnaires et je les, je les promène dans le tour tu t'es fait avoir deux fois aussi mmh, ça, ça, pareil, ça, ça pareil ça t'a bien ça t'a bien coûté ta victoire je pense uh, I do pas mal de pression. I do have to ask were you did you forget about that apostle you had in Kumasi or did you just not want to go and convert not when go mm. anymore um, it, it serves nothing to, to convert the city if I can't I think you could have gotten when you had Ulundi, I think you could have gotten Chennai and Nodwengu. So that yeah, would yeah, put you on I, the I, have, I had not uh, enough faith to, to get Chennai back. I could uh, only buy missionaries. Uh, I needed another person. Oh, you're worried you're gonna get uh, stepped on by. Uh, yeah. 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 He has first move on me, so. Yeah. Ah ouais, il y a des moves, il y avait some more moves where you shift hunter like 4 or 5 units and they need to whatever I wanted. I don't think that was like, even if I have first move, 
you there is some mid game move where I had invis where you just like uh, lose a lot of units by shift entering everything. I don't know if you see what I'm yeah, yeah, maybe. what turn I'm hitting on. Yeah. What do you think at the beginning, Alexis, when uh, that city, uh, that Ontini, got taken out with such a big sacrifice? Uh, I was like, okay, uh, <laughs> this will be even harder. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> and, I, and I was like, okay, let's do two more settlers and uh, uh, hope uh, I can hold Varus and hope I can get mercenaries and MPs. And I know if I reach MPs and mercenaries, I'm fine. Because I yeah. can, I have the plus ten, and then it, he cannot really kill me anymore, and I can kill him for all the rest of the game. So I, I, I finally get my, uh, I finally uh, finish to safe when I reach the when I my first MP get out of Olympia. <laughs> yeah, it was so <laughs> close there as well. And then he start for reduce victory, and I was like, oh no. <laughs> Three poster in the water. I was like, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was surprising with the missionaries in the water. I thought you maybe would put one, but you had such an advantage moving across the land with those. They didn't care about rivers, didn't care about hills. Yeah, but. Uh, ready. When I know we can one turn uh, horses or what. But mm -hmm. I, I think my biggest mistake was to not deny defender uh, when I think. Mm. Probably, yes. I agree. Yes, defender helps, helps a lot, uh, especially uh, with uh, Lancier. Mm. Mm. Spearman. Ah, le, 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 the turn where the two uh, um, crossbowmen with my level 4. Mm -hmm. I, I think I never get a more terrible <laughs> thing in this. I it was super. Actually, I didn't saw me win uh, since, as I say, I reached my first MP uh, makeup and it was like really late. And uh, I think you. Like, I, I, the early game were perfect for me when you should have win out of that. Mm -hmm. Really close. I don't know if there is also questions. We can answer them. Great game in any case, man. Such a good back and forth between you two. Great game. I, I hope there is a lot of um, shine point. Parry. Um, uh, no, not parry, but uh, gamble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're like, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was 64% uh, for Tissits and uh, the oh, other person for you. Oh my, oh, on mine it was all 80% on Tirith. Mm. Well, GG guys, and uh, thank you very much for uh, allowing me to stream. I guess now uh, we're going to see the game against uh, Big Miel. You, you need to find the time. Yeah, uh, I tell you when uh, we find the time. Great, great. Amazing. Thank you for the tournament, man. It's unbelievable tournament. I hope we get more of these. The 1v1s are so, so great. Yeah, there is a really nice uh, match. See you. See you. Bonne nuit. Bye-bye. GTC, GJXC, a plus. So, um, yes, Salty Kevin, I can uh, summarize uh, what I uh, just heard. I'm sorry, we didn't understand. I, uh, yes, they were talking a bit uh, lower. I did try to put them higher over there in volume, but I guess it wasn't enough. Um, on one side, uh, Tiritz did say that um, he didn't actually have the f confidence that he would actually convert the cities of uh, Zulu in time uh, to actually get that religious victory with uh, only just missionaries uh, going against Chennai. The reason for that being, he didn't have first moves so he couldn't quite um, uh, trust his uh, last moves and then getting out of there with uh, the, la the first moves um, of course if he would have been stepped on uh, he would have lost um, uh, conversion on that city and so on and so forth on the other side we did have um, 
Uh, yes, this was the second and the third uh, placing fire tire here page. Uh, on uh, the other side, we did have uh, Alexis uh, saying that uh, he was definitely sweating when he lost his second city. He uh, thought a uh, third city actually on Dini when it was settled. Uh, he uh, did uh, say that he will uh, try as much as possible to get more settlers out, and uh, he knew that he's gonna need to withstand the attack of uh, those Varus um, until uh, his uh, impis come out. Impis, of course, as you've seen, are quite powerful against their uh, opponents. Um, at the same time, we did have um, uh, Tirits mentioning that he should have uh, denied um, um, Defender of the Faith away from uh, uh, Zulu instead of going for the missionary zeal promotion on his beliefs uh, in his religion because that extra plus three actually made a lot of a difference over here on uh, the Zulu uh, army. Uh, he just couldn't attack into the spearmen, couldn't attack into the uh, later uh, units. And of course when those impies came out it was just uh, too too much. Um, thank you very much Turu94 for the follow and I think that uh, sums it up for to this evening. We did have uh, two games uh, Tirits did manage to uh, win the first one against uh, Rom Rom with a very nice uh, and quick attack over there uh, with um, uh, Maori. In the second one, he played the uh, Chandra Gupta going against uh, the second placed um, um, player in the tournament, and that was uh, Alexis Kremp. And uh, as you can see, that Alexis Kremp did actually get his um, win. Uh, now we're going to see uh, him challenge uh, Muel, who is the first one up uh, in the points in the tournament. Actually, if I uh, take a look over here, we do have uh, wait, is it not this one? Uh, the 1v1 announces uh, we do have this page that tells us that Muel with uh, eight points uh, up there in the point screen. Uh, I think he has eight wins, and he, it is going to be Alexis Kremp going against Muel next. We're going to uh, try to follow this as well. I'm going to have to uh, keep um, uh, an eye out for the games and of course I'll try to talk with Malm to see when uh, the stream will be available. Thank you very much guys for uh, everything, for the support, for being here and I do hope you enjoyed the show. Uh, we're going to catch uh, each other uh, next time. I'm not sure exactly what kind of games we're going to have this week, but of course, like always, we're going to need to wait for tomorrow and uh, the day after tomorrow for everything to uh, come out. I do have to say something uh, on uh, Thursday evening, my uh, Thursday morning, my time, uh, I uh, do need to get my um, uh, grandmother to uh, the hospital uh, to check her uh, how to say to do an x-ray on the hand that she uh, managed to break so we can check that everything is okay I, I might not be able to stream tomorrow because of that um, because uh, i don't want to be uh, late uh, so it's either i'm not gonna sleep all night and i'm gonna have to make a decision i'm it's either not, i'm not gonna sleep all night or uh, i'm gonna try to sleep uh, from an early uh, uh, stage of the night so i can actually wake up uh, in the morning it's one or the two i'm gonna have to make a decision uh, tomorrow in the meantime of course we do have uh, the schedulings of the games for this week i'm waiting for uh, all of them to be announced and we're gonna get them on the civ6 world cup website uh, worldcup.com website uh, you're gonna have um, uh, probably tomorrow the schedule for this uh, week and uh, we're gonna definitely uh, get to see um who's going to be playing against who. Uh, we're also going to need to see what's going to happen in this weekend. This is the Easter weekend in the Orthodox in my uh, country. And um, uh, I do have to say how uh, I do have to see how I'm going to, uh, how to say, uh, go around it, uh, get uh, some dinner with my parents and at the same time, um, I'll be here uh, with you to stream all of these awesome games. And there will be quite a few games during the weekend. Thank you very much, guys, for everything. Uh, of course, uh, for the support, for the subs, for the um, follows, for everything. And I do have to say, have a good evening an amazing one be safe and i do hope you will enjoy the shorts that i have uh, coming out for uh, youtube if you're coming out from uh, youtube i do hope um, you're um, uh, how to say you throw this video a thumbs up and we're gonna see each other in the next one don't forget to subscribe to the channel and of course um, if you didn't enjoy it i totally understand it throw it a thumbs up so it, at least uh, you do get me a message a feedback that you actually will want me to improve thank you very much guys and let's see each other in uh, the next uh, stream now i will try to find somebody to actually um, um uh, how do you call it uh, host right now and i think it will be asticos just saying <laughs> anyway have a good evening guys have a good evening bye bye
Thank you.